Katie Pepley, and I am the head of preschool music here at the Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts. First, we would like to extend a warm welcome to our new students and parents, and we look forward to working with you and your child as they explore and grow their love for music. We currently offer two different preschool music class programs organized by age, preschool music one, ages 18 months to three, and preschool music two, ages three and four. The biggest difference between the preschool one class and the preschool two class is that the parents are actually in the classroom participating for the entire length of the class. They're expected to help the child play the rhythms, sing the songs, mimic the movements that the teacher might be giving them. So it's completely interactive between parent, student, and teacher. Some of the activities that you can expect in a preschool music one class include, but aren't limited to, our hello song in the beginning where we sing hello, learn each other's names. We have a drum circle activity uh, with our Remo sound head drums and mallets. We have music and story time where we might use pitched or non-pitched hand percussion instruments such as shaker eggs, wooden sticks, wooden blocks, tambourines, bells, just to name a few. We also have uh, movement and sensory activities with colored scarves, colored feathers, and a rainbow stretchy band. Um, and importantly, we also go over learning about the different instruments and really seeing them firsthand, touching them. Some of the instruments that we incorporate on a pretty daily basis include piano, guitar, drums, violin, ukulele, we've had some banjo, we've had trumpet, so it, it's really all sorts of different instruments across the board and we try and keep things coming in every so often. Due to the size of the classroom, we ask that one parent per child come in and participate with the Preschool Music One class. Um, but other parents or guardians are encouraged to watch from our viewing window. And if you have two parents or guardians who want to participate with the child in class, I recommend just taking turns every other week where maybe mom goes with child one week, dad goes with them the next week, and so forth. Preschool Music 2 is a more independent-based class where the parents are not in the classroom. However, parents are encouraged to watch from the viewing window as the class moves on. Activities in Preschool Music 2 are similar to those in Preschool Music 1. We just begin to add a little bit more of a general knowledge of music theory into the curriculum. So we like them to have an understanding of the basics of tempo and musical dynamics such as soft and loud. We also like them to have an, a basic understanding of the hierarchy of rhythm, knowing what a quarter note is, a half note, whole note, quarter rest, being able to visually identify them. Um, we also like them to be able to use their listening skills to identify certain sounds or timbres of an instrument. Um, and we also like to incorporate seasonal themed activities or classical music or even um, creative dance. Out of respect for our musical equipment and classroom, it's important for students this age to begin to learn restraint and wanting to run into the classroom and touch anything they see. So for that reason, we ask that preschool students please don't touch instruments that might be out in the classroom until given explicit permission by the teachers. There will be points in the class where they'll get to touch things, but it's better if done in an organized fashion, supervised by the teacher. Here at LAPA, we have a ticket incentive program. And in the Preschool Music 2 program, we do use this ticket program. If a student exhibits good behavior, good listening skills, and an overall positive attitude in during class, they will receive a red ticket. If they save up five red tickets, then they can cash it into the front desk for a prize from our treasure box. Now parents, I do recommend that you hang on to those tickets after class because then they might not get lost and you can keep all five and they're really excited. It's really sad when, whenever they lose their tickets and they have to save up extra. So um, hang on to those tickets after class and once you have five, they can get a prize at the treasure box. Twice a year, our Preschool Music 2 program has the opportunity to participate in our recitals. The participation is completely optional, but it is encouraged. We just ask that the student who is performing have been enrolled in our program for at least one month prior to the performance date. 
and our recitals happen in June and December. In order for a student to be promoted from Preschool Music 1 to Preschool Music 2, they must first turn three years old, and they must also then receive the approval from the music teacher to be put into the older group class. Once your student turns five, they are then promoted into the private lesson of their choice. Common first private lesson instruments of this age group include piano, violin, drums, but it really depends on what your child has shown interest in throughout their time in the preschool music program. Be sure to speak with the teacher once you're interested in moving to private lessons as the music teacher may be able to provide some insight on what your child has shown a lot of interest in. Your child's music education and success is of the utmost importance to us here at LAPA. Our primary goal is for our students to come in, learn things, have fun, and really feel like they're going to succeed in their future with music. And that's why we can't wait to work forward with you and your child and see where this musical journey goes. And again, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call our front desk or any of our locations of our school. And we look forward to seeing you in class. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.